any integrity left in British banking? Tony Robinson. It's almost like they're not human, isn't it? <laughs> you look at them and you think, these people don't live in the same world as us. Do you remember that before the crisis happened, what they were doing was decimating the high street banks, laying off all their staff, uh, putting us all on computers when they clearly hadn't developed the technology for those computers. They told us that they were doing that to make things better for us. They didn't. They made things worse for us. And it was simply in order to collect up an enormous amount of money that they could invest in the casino of international banking. And they blew it because they didn't understand it. And then they come back to us and say, oh, can you bail us out now for hundreds of millions of pounds? We give them the flipping money and they don't lend it to us even though they've promised to do so. <laughs> the goal to increase their wages by 12% to give themselves bonuses and say we've got to do this because if we don't we'll leave the country. And all the time, actually, in the background, they're committing acts which in any other business I think would be seen as criminal. I remember a time when the bank manager, along with the doctor and the magistrate, was the person who signed your passport, the person for whom society had an enormous amount of respect. I don't know about you, I have no respect for British bankers and the British banking system at all. They've dragged us into that situation. It's about time they started getting us out of it. <laughs>